complex because it'll change by employee. But we can sum them up and double check that way. So again, it's not a flat tax. So we can't do a simple calculation from the wages to the tax. We can take the 17003.26 plus the 25212.4 and that should give us the 4221566 if we subtract that. 42215.66 back to zero. Then we'll take the uh, social security wages. So we have the social security wages here and here. That should tie out to social security wages here on the W3. So if we were to add the social security wages up, we're adding the 96973.5 and the 97632.5 to get the um, 194606 so if we subtract out what well, we have 194606 back down to zero and then we're looking for the social security here now this is where it gets a little bit complex this is the actual tax and uh it this could differ from the tax that we're going to see over here so let's see why we're going to add up the 12024.71 and down here the 12106.43 and that's going to differ and it will always differ by the way the 12,065.57 why because we multiplied this by twice the amount this in other words is not 0.062 but 0.124 or twice the wages in other words it's the employer and employee portion so if we take this amount and divide by two we'll get just the employee portion which is what's reported on the W-2s and the W-3. Same is going to be here. So this is the F Medicare taxes on these two lines. So if we add those two lines, we're going to say that's the 96973.5 plus the 144232.5, giving us the 241206. Oh, uh, 241, so if we subtract that out, 241206 back down to zero. 